Good day everyone no so teacher Junel here I am back <laughs> so for today's video we will talk about the one concept that may include in your TLE majors no especially to the TLE majors out there no so this is the business mathematics no so when we say mathematics computation talaga to no so before we proceed to the computation let us first uh, identify the important terms no in dealing with business mathematics no so without further ado let's start so the first term we have here now is the interest now so when we say interest it is the money earned in an investment or paid on a loan so it is a charge for a borrowed money generally a percentage of the amount borrowed no pag mag, pag mag utang tayo no yun yung mga interest na sinasabi nila ng 1% interest yun yung mga binabayaran natin so yun 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 yung interest so let's move on to the balance sheet no so Mag, pag sinabi natin balance sheet, it is the list of assets and liabilities of the organization as of specific moment of time. No? Ito yung mga sa mga accounting no? sa balance sheet. Sa balance sheet siya. So, yung equation nito is the asset equals to liabilities plus the owner's equity. Pag sinabi naman natin income statement, no? it is also called profit no? and lost account or P&L statement is a report for income and expenses over a specific time period, usually a quarter or a year. No? So, dito makikita yung mga income ng kumpanya at saka mga expenses niya tulad ng mga salaries expense, yung mga bayad sa kuryente at saka at iba iba at iba't iba pang mga expenses ng kumpanya dito makikita sa income statement for the statement of cash flows no it is a financial statement that shows how changes in balance sheet accounts and income affect cash and cash equivalents no pag cash and cash equivalents na no? nandito yan sa statement of cash flow Pag salaries payable naman no is a liability no so contains the amount of any salaries owned to employees which have not been paid to them no ito yung mga babayaran natin sa mga tao no yung mga sweldo ito yung salaries payable Next is the bonds payable no bonds payable is any amounts owned by the company that have been formalized by a legal document called bond no so tandaan natin yung legal document called bond so a long term debt daw yan at in issue by corporations hospital and government no pag mga bonds no ito yun sa mga malalaking kumpanya na no about the accounts payable no so pag sinabi naman nating accounts payable it is the amounts due to vendors for purchase on open account not evidenced by assigned work no ito yung mga babayaran natin sa mga sa mga accounts no for example yung mga yung mga dineliver na mga supplier na hindi pa nababayaran at may resibo na yun yun ay ang accounts payable so for the mortgage payable no it is a long term financing used to purchase property no pag long term financing used to purchase property it is the mortgage payable so gross income no so when we say gro gross income is the pre tax income no before any deductions are taken no pag sinabi nating gross income na no? wala pa itong deduction no for example 10k yung gross income mo 10k yon wala wala siyang deduction ng pag-ibig ganun dapat 10k talaga no yon yung gross income so sa net in income naman no so residuals amount of income after all deductions sa bid taken no dito na masasabing pag net income may mga deduction na for example kanina sa gross income mo is 10,000 no so pag may deduction siya ng uh, SSS for example 500 pag ibig ganun pag may deduction na siya at naka net income ka ng 8,000 minus the deduction yun na yung net income mo thirds yung uh, net income ay may deduction na we have here no the fixed assets no for pag sinabing fixed assets no it is the assets that are purchased for a long term used and are not to be converted quickly into cash no ito for example nito is the land the building and the equipment so ito yung mga fixed assets 
have here the short term debt no so when we say short term debt is a debt less than 12 months no for example is the wages lease payments and the income tax long term debt naman no so it is more than 12 months no for example it is the bonds the pension and the retirement Before we end no so let's drill first no so so it is called the uh, profit and loss account or p and l statement is a report for income and expenses over a specific time period usually a quarter or a year what is this okay very good no so it is the income statement no so tandaan natin yan pag called pag it is called the profit and loss it is the income statement no so Yan, tandaan din natin no report for income and expenses for over a specific time period usually a quarter or a year no so how about the list of assets and liabilities of the organization as of a specific moment of time list down ng assets and liabilities of the organization as of specific moment in time it is the balance sheet no so, how about the money earned in an investments or paid on a loan? A charge for a borrowed money, generally a percentage of the amount borrowed. So, a charge for a borrowed money daw. Ano ito? Okay, it is the interest. So, how about the... It is the financial statement that shows how changes in balance sheet, accounts, and income affect cash and cash equivalents affects the cash and cash cash and cash equiv equivalents this is statement of cash flows so how about the so about the liability contains the amount of any salaries owned to employees which have not been paid to them amount of salaries daw that owned to employees it is the salaries payable so, how about the any amounts owed by the company that have been formalized by a legal document called band? Or a long-term debt? It is issued by corporations, hospital, and government. It is the bonds payable. So, how about the amounts due to vendors for purchase on open account not evidenced by assigned work? It is the accounts payable. So, how about the long-term financing used to purchase pro property? Long-term financing daw to purchase property. It is the mortgage payable. So, how about the pre-tax income? No? So, before any deductions are taken. Wala pa daw mga deductions. Pre-tax income daw. It is the gross income. No? So, how about naman pag... May mga residuals amount of income after all deductions have been taken. May mga deduction na daw. It is the net income. So, it is, a, it is a kind of assets that are purchased for a long term, used and are not to be converted quickly into cash. Example nito ay land, building, and equipment. Anong asset ito? It is the fixed asset. no So, Punta naman tayo sa debt, no? So, it is a kind of debt that less than 12 months. For example, is the wages, lease payments, or the income tax. It is, it is the short-term debt, no? Pag less than 12 months, short-term debt. So, how about more than 12 months? It is the long-term debt, no? So, example ng mga long-term debt is the bonds, pension, and the retirement that ends our discussion for today no so i hope that you've learned new something today about business mathematics no for yung mga important terms no sa business mathematics no so so guys don't ever ever stop learning no so our next topic to be discussed is all about the simple interest formula no so mag solve na tayo dito ng mga simple interest formula and uh, find the principal rate and time using the simple interest formula no so before we end i if you find this video help no helpful for you 
for your review especially for your review in TLE major no so please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell para updated kayo if i have new videos to be uploaded no so goodbye for now everyone and god bless you all bye thank you